All right, folks, I'm gonna make this really easy. What I have here is the lawsuit. Second, I've got the original letter from Baird Home that says, while playing the tape, Miss Addison was asked to step away from the podium for refusing to provide her address. Now, based on that, the Office of the Attorney General, and again, you can see the date, says, Ms. Adamson was not removed from the podium due to the content of her speech, but rather because she did not provide her address. Now, sounds the same so far. Now what you have is the response to the court, which states, Plaintiff's mother was called to the podium prior to plaintiff, informed the board that she lived in Omaha, stated and spelled her name, and when asked to state her address, responded that her husband would not appreciate it. When Dr. Holman next inquired whether Ms. Adamson was part of OPS, she affirmed that she was and had served as a teacher with the district. At that time, Ms. Adamson was allowed to proceed with her remarks. Now, what's important about that? Well, let's think about this. One was for court and the other was for the AG investigation that I was never told about. Why did they say one thing in one and one in the other? There's a few reasons for that. One, they didn't want to tell the court that, oh, well, because a 70 year old retired school teacher that worked there for 36 years and has an unpublished address doesn't want to give her name for privacy concerns we didn't let her talk because that sounds ridiculous which is what they put in writing but in any case so they didn't want to say that to the court uh the other is that they knew there was no actual rule saying we couldn't play audio so they had to find something that there was a rule on that being said when it came to court their response tells the truth which means they lied to the Attorney General, which is how they came to their conclusion, which is why then, when I brought this to their attention at the Attorney General's office last week, they said, sorry for the lighting, by the way, basically, this follows the verbal notification, you were disruptive, any other contact needs to be in writing, or I will be trespassing. Right? So, when I... That... They took a lie. They watched the video. They created a lie. Then... In an effort to prevent me from discovering that lie, they claimed executive privilege and said that I couldn't see any of the information. Does this sound good to you? So, now I'm back and I'm gonna force them to discuss this situation and see how this goes because I always get lied to anyways. I don't know what's going on back there, but usually the cops, when they come, it's because of my presence. Oh, I'm feeling jealous. Okay. Is Ms. McFarland available? Um, she's the one that runs like public records requests, the meetings, McFarland. Oh yeah, she knows. Perfect.
Okay, yeah, I can just sign in over there first. First and last name, and then just get the email. You go have to Okay. Hey. Howdy, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. You can give stuff to Ms. McFarland, right? Absolutely. This I would like you to give to her. Okay. That's the lawsuit I filed. Okay. Um, and then is she available? Because I want to show you something. No Let me show you before you even check. I want to show okay. you something. This is going to blow your mind because okay. I, I think it's important for you to understand, since you see me a lot, <laughs> why I'm here. So is this from the courts or? That's for me, yeah, because I filed it with the court. Okay. Read this highlighted little spot there. Okay. You, you can read it to yourself or out loud, it don't matter. I just want you to read it so you see what I'm talking about. Okay. Since so she was removed for not giving her address, right? Okay. And then the attorney general, that's what they said. She was removed for not getting her address. Okay. But in response to the lawsuit I filed, yeah. they told the truth and said she was removed for playing an audio recording. So remember how I kept saying that they were lying and I, I knew it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, yeah. You get what I'm saying? I this do. is evidence. And do you know what the Attorney General did last week when I provided them the evidence? Exactly. They trespassed me. Rather than admit that what they have in writing is false, they trespassed me. Okay. Um, is there like a registration up on the third floor? Yes. Okay, perfect. I feel good to get that off my chest because you probably wondered why I keep coming here, but it's because yeah, they keep lying. I, I can see her.
Well, this right, this right here, right? This was Barrett Holmes' response in 2022. This is something you didn't want to send. Okay. okay. Miss Adamson was not removed due to the content, but rather because she did not provide her address. Based on that, even though they watched the video no differently, the, dis, uh, the attorney general says, Ms. while playing the tape, Ms. Adamson was asked to step away at the podium for refusing to provide her address. Now, in the lawsuit I filed, the response given by Baird Home, she affirmed she was and served with the district. At that time, Ms. Adamson was allowed to proceed with her remarks. It's only after that that the audio prevented her from continuing. Now, that's all on a, a video. I mean, we're not in debate here. She was allowed because nobody's going to say, I'm sorry, you're 70 and a 36 year retiree of this district and don't have a listed address, but we're going to force you to give it or not speak because that would be horrible. Yet that's what everybody put in writing until it came to going to court. Now, why hasn't this been corrected? So, you have a lot of pieces of no. documents. Three pieces. Okay, I know, but they're not complete. Like, I can see this is a page. Hold on. Two. Can, but, sure, they are complete. I just flipped to the highlighted pages. Okay, okay. So, here's so, Baird Home, so, right? So, let me, let me just take this one at a time. So, this is a letter that is... Start history. with the first one, Baird Home. Okay. Because that's the one that started it. Okay. So, I keep this... This is the letter from Baird Home, Okay. You can speak to the factual circumstances of the meeting, which we both know at this point, she was silenced because of her recording, not because of failure to give an address. So, Mr. Riddle. Which I is what they put here. That two individuals brought this as a concern to the Attorney General's office. Mm -hmm. But so, the response that was given by Baird Holm, which is here, okay. which you're stopping, you're avoiding the beginning and skipping to where you want to be. And I would like to just, since I'm here, start at the beginning and let's agree. Baird Holm is who wrote this, December of 2021. Okay. It does say, Ms. Adam, Ms. Adamson was asked to step away from the podium for refusing to provide her address. Is that what this says? I see it there that you And you it. sent it, so you know that's what it says. Now, this is the response from the Attorney General in January, right? And we agree on that. So, or do we not agree on that? I, I, what you're showing me, yes. Perfect, so it says, Ms. Adamson was not removed from the podium due to the content of her speech, but rather because she did not provide her address. So, if they relied upon your guys' lie in a situation where I wasn't even notified and now we know why, and then you refused to provide it to me because you looked at it and said, oh my gosh, we're in trouble. We lied. So, so that is a bit of a leap there. Okay, so tell me then. All, Just answer. Mr. Riddle, Sir. I can't speak to what the Attorney General did. Speak to what OPS did. You've been paying attention. So, but I can't speak to how they interpreted or what investigation. They interpreted they the same way it was so, written so by your attorney. I also don't have a request for you from this. I don't know when you're saying that I refuse to provide it to you. I do not. Recall. Sure, that's I irrelevant. Have a request that's fine. From that, I mean, that. Asking for the information. Sure. Okay. So let's address the. I'm just going to set this right here. We're just going to address this like adults. Do we agree that these documents are documents you saw and have sent? So, Mr. Riddle, I'm not So going now to you won't even agree you. that you sent them and that's how I got I'm them. not responding to that. What I'm okay, saying what is I'm not to? going to interpret the documents that did not originate with us. I have responded to the Hold request on. for the information. Let me ask you a question. Do you know the truth? Let's start there. Was she silenced for speech or was she silenced for her address? Again, Mr. Riddle. So you don't even know that. I, I'm not going to respond sound, to the question well, about the meeting and the interpretation so what would you of respond the documents. To? 
about the records that you've requested and that they've been provided or not provided? I asked. And the request that Cheryl uh, wait, Adamson wait. had asked. Okay, so these are documents. What about the request? Okay, respond. you want to? You didn't, but you did. You send me that? No, you sent it to her. But in any she case, we'll go to the ones I requested. Mr. Riddle. The books. She requested it. The books. I requested something over four days ago asking how the books were decided. So today would be the fourth day according no, to what the false. statute says because the statute does say that the day we receive does not count in the four days. Cool. So you have, if you check your email, you have a response so to the first request. So now let's get to the human element. The Are first you going request to tell that you me gave that me you won't and get this fixed? before the end of the day, I will get you that second request. Will you get this fixed? So I don't know what this is. Okay, because it's a I lie based on your attorney to the to person the who requested the documents. Let me ask you, do you know the law? I'm allowed to come in here and ask these questions. So, so saying Riddle, that I, I responded to those people. To try to respond to you. But, and again, but I you're said not to responding. you I have two requests that are pending both today to sure, be addressed. Sure. One has been sent to you, is in your email. And Since the second I came down, one, sure. Well, actually, if you'd look, it was sent before you came down. But but that's okay. I don't know how long you've been here. I did want to make well, sure that I got to you. Well, then you shouldn't make that you. statement. But okay. let's agree. So, Mr. so Riddle, how do I I'm get this resolved? Back so you to refuse to resolve a lie. And this so, is what I've been saying, folks. This is what I've been saying. You can present them with a lie. And what they do is what the AG did on Friday or Thursday when I went down and presented them with the lie is they trespassed me. They do this, they use the law enforcement, but if you look at her face, what does she say? I won't talk about this. I won't talk about this. I won't talk about this. I won't fix this. I already did this, 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 and this. Cool. And I'm here for what reason? Because so they've Riddle, posted a lie. I have lie. responded to the records request that have come forward. We have communicated with you. I have communicated with the other requesters regarding documents. If Are you saying I have no legal right forward, to ask you a question? I, didn't say that. So can I ask so, it? I'm going to go back and respond. So no, to I don't other, have a right to ask you a question. I'm going to go back and respond to the other request that you. So have. while I'm here so and I've taken I'm time out of my day to come down here, I can't ask you a question because you've waited until the final minute to respond to my request. Mr. Riddle, and I now it's so er, so you will not answer a question. Is that what you're saying? I mean, I've answered several of your questions. You didn't answer the one I came in for, I'm did you? I'm sorry that you don't like the answer that I've given. You didn't give me an answer. You said, I won't address this. So the person who you made the request. You can give that to her if you want. Oh, I'm sorry. Perfect. Thank you very much. That's the lawsuit you've been served. Okay. Thank you. I don't think you can serve me yet. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't serve you. And you said you were the only one in charge. So as long as it wasn't me or anyone involved, it counts and it's on video. I told you. Share line. That makes me the crazy one. I've been gaslit for years about this. She won't answer because they're lying. I proved it. Now she doesn't know or won't address. I mean, let's agree. This is not the way it should work. Not in a fair and equitable environment where everybody has the right to defend themselves from accusations. So, but thank you. And you've always been pleasant and I appreciate it. You too. I'll be back tonight. I don't know. Maybe I accidentally flipped it the wrong way, but either way, as long as it's still rolling, I assume you could hear it. And as I said before, even faced with the lie, even faced with their own words, they just cannot address anything because they know they're wrong and addressing it means I'm right and that just doesn't work for people with power. Take care guys. Thanks for watching.